Jumping on the scene and saving the day, oh, I'm so excited, is a homegrown golden child of stage and screen. Born and raised right here in Calgary, he's come up from being a 16-year-old loose mooser to an award-winning improviser, actor, and MC who has now been named the best supporting actor in a comedy series by the Canadian Screen Awards for two back-to-back -back years. He is one of the stars of Canada's number one rated comedy, Kim's Convenience, and owns 400 pairs of sneakers. Yes, 400. Please welcome a man who has not seen any of the slides that are about to go on this screen and who's going to improvise his way through an entire Pachakicha presentation. Round of applause for Andrew Fong! Uh, they asked me yesterday to do this. I said yes, because I get to do it at the new public library. Uh, can we get a round of applause for all the speakers tonight? Everyone's crushing it. Uh, I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. I have not seen the slides. Though, uh, I did get a chance to beforehand. I wanted to choose a topic. And uh, before we start, I want everyone to take a deep breath in and just lower your expectations. I <laughs> have not seen these slides. This could end terribly. Uh, but I wanted to choose a topic pers uh, personal to me, and the theme was uh, overdue. And uh, I'm, I'm relocating to Toronto full time starting in January. I know I, I'm doing it for, for my kids. It's too hard with the travel, uh, travel back and forth. So this is my uh, overdue thank you to Calgary. Uh, my name is Andrew Fung. I'm a Calgary kid born and raised from the Northeast. And in the Northeast, I learned one thing. Uh, <laughs> to cherish the, the, the women around you. The people who raised me. My mother, who took, took, took care of me all these years with all the love and support and guidance. And while growing up in the Northeast, I discovered, you know, my love of theater and kind of being a goofball. I was... Oh, what the I, I was an avocado with googly eyes, just trying to fill the world with laughter. And in high school in particular, I started taking drama class, and in drama class one day, uh, they brought in an improv instructor, and this improv instructor uh, came to me and showed me the titanic power of theater, <laughs> the rocky waves that we can navigate as we are a boat just riding our way through. And life is filled with waves and turbulence, and we need to navigate that, and improvisation taught me that, and I started going down to the Loose Moose Theater with all my friends, and we were called the Asian Invasion, because all these colored kids would show up uh, when it was filled with just white kids. <laughs> Improv is a white people world, and a bunch of Asian kids showed up, and they didn't turn us away. And Amiko talks about uh, access to the arts and making us feel comfortable. We did feel comfortable. We felt like we were these monsters consuming comedic lessons, <laughs> comedic stage time. And people were just cheering us on. They were so happy that we were here. And I learned to be myself. I learned that I got to be funny and I learned to fail at the Loose Moose Theater Company. And it gave me a place to be. And when, you're, when you are a place to be, you, oh, is that a 3D image? When you, when, you are, when you are at a place, the world just becomes alive in 3D. It's no longer 2D, it is 3D. The world is filled with so much more. And uh, in 2012, I quit my job to pursue a career in the arts. <laughs> yes, to pursue a career in the arts. <laughs> and you're thinking, yeah, you're an Asian actor in Calgary. You quit your job to pursue a career in the arts, and somehow it worked out. And it worked out because of the support and love I received from Calgary. And I'm gonna go through things I love most about Calgary. The first one is the nature. <laughs> Isn't it just, this city is so beautiful, filled with water and rocks. This was taken on that really nice day we had, remember? <laughs> that was awesome. Just like, we all really enjoyed it, right? Man, think about that day again, oh. I also love about Calgary um, <laughs> looking out into the sky and thinking that my, 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 my possibilities are endless. I feel like when I look out into that moon, I can, I can really do anything. 
And Calgary taught me that because I see a room in a city full of dreamers and believers and hustlers. I love seeing what we can do when we just put our finger out there. <laughs> and that appears. <laughs> you know? And I love that so much that I believe that I can look out to the sky and look into nature and do everything. But this one in particular <laughs> really makes me love Calgary so much. The Calgary Stampede is evolving. Uh, to be so much more than just cowboys. But ducks and sheep and birds. Calgary taught me that I can shoot for the stars. Taught me that I can be more than just what I think I am. And it's kind of wild that I go to other places now and they say, you are an Asian comedian from Calgary. And I wear that with a badge of honor because Calgary is such a loving and wonderful place. A place with people who work so hard to make things come together with chemicals and science. <laughs> but it's more than just chemicals and science. It's the right ingredients to make this city so right the right ingredients to make us who we are, and the right ingredients came together to make me who I am. And I learned five things about myself from this city. The first thing I learned is be, be a loose moose. In a world where people are uptight and they want to control everything, we need to loosen up. Be like the moose. Just loosen up. That was the first lesson I learned from being in Calgary. The second one is... Uh, don't, f don't follow a pattern, create your own patterns. Do your own thing. It's so easy to follow in other people's footsteps, but it's even better when you create your own footsteps filled with all different types of things like crosses and birds. <laughs> Be Superman. Do things out of this world. Fly to the sky. Do things as best you can, and if you make a mistake, that's okay. I learned that from Loose Moose, and I learned that from this city. Fly into outer space with a baby. <laughs> it's okay to fall. Like, sometimes you're walking around, you think you're on the right path, and you fall. And I have failed so many times. I, when, I, when I met my wife, we were dancing at Outlaws Nightclub, and I slipped in a puddle of beer. And I stood up and danced my way through, and now we're married. And the last thing I learned, you know, the most important thing I learned is that we are all unicorn sharks flying through a rainbow of life. And we need to embrace that. We need to have fun. Calgary, you taught me that. You taught me how to have fun and how to embrace who I am. And as I depart to Toronto to continue this career, I will always remember that life is full of shapes that I create and I draw, things that I control. It's no longer co Toronto controls me, I control Toronto, I control the world. I can do whatever I want to do. Calgary, you shape me to be the man I am today and I stand before you with one thing in mind. Now, I gotta get it done. <laughs> now I'm done here, but it's time to move on and Calgary will always be home. So thank you to the people that shaped me. Thank you for the people that helped me. Thank you for the people that have had coffee with me. Thank you for the people that have given me life advice because I am who I am because of you and I hope to always make you proud wherever I go. Thank you.